Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband, the five-year anniversary special. Now, when we left off, we had just completed yet another tournament. We were successful in gaining a pretty decent amount of money. There was a lot of drama in that particular one as well, so... Uh, yeah, we're getting a little bit better at the tournaments now, because obviously I'm, I'm kind of used to the other kind of tournaments in other mods where units are extremely powerful or... The weapons you get are really, really good, or, you know, just the different environments. So, we are now, I believe, maybe going to be joining the Saranid Sultanate as a band of mercenaries. Now, this doesn't really give us any kind of disadvantage, really, because if you think about it, we get to participate in the fights, you know, with the enemy vassals, because I notice that they're actually at war against the Kurjid Khanate. And that means that we'll be able to participate in some vassal battles and maybe take on some guys that are, you know, maybe potentially going to give us a pretty decent amount of renown. And as a result, we'll gain even more power and... Because we're not a vassal, we can leave at any time. Well, technically, as a vassal, you can leave at any time, but it makes it a little bit more, well, difficult, shall we say. Anyway, I'm going to join, I think. There we go. Now, <laughs> yes, unfortunately, this has now failed, because obviously we are technically now at war with the Kurgit Khanate, but, yeah, I don't think I was going to do those things anyway, really. Anyway, let's have a look here. Ah, Emir Diul has been taken prisoner by Belia Noyan. Right, I'm going to try. I'm going to try and do it. Yes, I'm thinking of breaking into the prison, finding Emir Diul, and fighting my way out. One could enter Nara either in disguise or openly, then walk up to the prison guard and try to take the keys by force. However, getting out may be difficult. The garrison may be slow to react, but even so, you're likely to find yourself fighting a half dozen or more of the enemy at once. Yes. Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. And potentially we could ask for the people, you know, the uh what what is it? The villages, yes, the villages surrounding Nara to set a fire, of course. So where is Emir Nuam? He is obviously wanting us to He's close to Rushdig. Rushdig? Where is that? Well, it's, it's nowhere near me, that's for sure. It's probably over here somewhere, isn't it? Oh, do I really have to go and look for it? I don't really want to do that, but I suppose it's going to save time, isn't it, overall? All right, so Rushdig, there it is. Okay, show me where it is. Oh, it's right there. All right, okay, so... Yeah, now what else do we need to do here? We need to rescue Amir Diul, who is prisoner at Nara. Now, I could technically try to sneak in there. We do have a pretty, you know, pretty small army. I mean, for the most part, we have a pretty small army. There's the Kurdish Khanate, by the way. I think I was actually seeing those on the way here. Anyway, uh, this guy seems to have walked in here, which is a bit annoying, because I was actually hoping that we might be able to do the Desert Bandit quest, but it seems like I have been in, uh, unable to acquire it. Alright, so as you can see here, there seems to be some peace agreements currently going on, and I'm actually kind of sad about this, because I was thinking to myself, yeah, I'm going to go to Nara in just a second, because I'm right here with our marshal, and he's kind of just standing here, not really doing anything. As you can see here, he's kind of just standing here, and it was hilarious, because they made peace with each other, when they were doing this, they were besieging Samara Castle, and uh, they made peace in the middle of it, which is absolutely hilarious to me. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to see who the Lord of Amarad is, and then I'm going to try and find them. Emir Hamazan. And there he is. Fantastic. So that means we can actually do that quest, I think. Yes, excellent. Right, so now we can go over there and destroy the Desert Bandit Lair, and we'll gain a little bit more money. And as a mercenary, by the way, we are gaining 300 dinars, or deniers, and yes, hopefully we will obviously be able to afford a Weavery and Dye Works soon. And I've heard that 
going to Riverchegg and spending the money there for a dye works is the best way to go. So we might try to do that. Obviously, if I find myself up there, then I'll definitely, definitely be doing that. Okay, Yamira, Ferentis, Mateld, Beheshta, Borcha, and Shavi. So we're, we're, we're with all of our companions, which is kind of hilarious in itself. Ah, oh well, never mind. We might actually do okay with them, who knows. But yeah, I know Ferentis actually can turn into a massive beast, so I'm hopeful that we'll be able to do something with him. Anyway, what I'm also going to try and do is I'm going to take a look, I think probably at the wiki or something, and I'm going to see which companions get on with which, and then I'm actually just going to get the companions that get on with each other, because the companion complaints are kind of a bit much, you know, personally. Like, yeah, if you're in an army together, yeah, sure, you can no doubt have your likes and dislikes, but doesn't necessarily mean that that should sway the leader of that army. I, I don't personally feel like it should make any difference. You know, there's been many, many armies in fiction and in history itself where people have not gotten on with each other, and they've just gotten on with it because, well, it's their duty. You know, it's their duty, or it's, it's you know, they're driven by money, or they're driven by revenge, or something along those lines. And, wow. I'm actually really surprised that all of our companions are doing such a good job, to be honest. I mean, no offense, <laughs> no offense to them, but they have some pretty bad gear, you know? They have some pretty bad gear. Beheshtar is doing an amazing job with his bow. Wow, I'm actually really surprised. Oh well, that might- oh, oh, there they go, Mateld. Mateld was the first one to go down. I'm really sad about that, because I actually thought we'd have flawless victory. But no, not, not this time. Oh, Velvet, very nice. Thank you very much for that. A nomad bow as well. A couple of other things that I can sell, of course. There you go. Very nice. Okay, so hopefully he has not left our Mirage now, because I know that the <laughs> I know that the vassals tend to do weird stuff like that. So I'm gonna try and take out these guys. No, okay, that's not gonna work. They're gonna just take us all around the houses and you know, waste our time basically. So let's just go in here. There you go, 1500. We've improved our relation with him. We've leveled up all three of, you know, our people. We've leveled up myself, Forentus, and Mateld. Barney is, of course, very, very happy with that. Do you have any other tasks? Oh, this is new too. This is very new. I don't think I have ever done this task before. My daughter, Lady Shatha, is due for a visit to her relatives at Cherise. The visit has been postponed several times already with all the trouble on the roads. But this time she is adamant about going, so I want to at least make sure she's well guarded. All right, yes, let's do it. Right, okay. Well, I'm just going to make sure that I sell everything real quick. Obviously, I'm going to be keeping some things just in case. Going to be keeping the shield, going to sell the staff, keep the Fauci and sell the lance, keep the Nomad bow. Going to probably sell the velvet. I personally don't feel like we're going to need it very soon because if we do create our own faction relatively, you know, in the near future, then it's probably going to be one of those things where I'm going to attack the place that I want to have as my home base. So hopefully we're going to have that happen. Shall we go into the tavern real quick just to see if there's anything here? Oh, Lezalit is here. And Nizar. Oh, very nice. Okay, I'm going to be taking both of you. Thank you very much. Join me. Yes. They have been assimilated. <laughs> yes, they have been assimilated. Very nice. Okay, so... Let's have a look here. We do need to level up a bunch of people, and they all need helms, don't they? Yes, they all need helms. M wow, there's actually a huge amount of them that have leveled up. Okay, so Yamira is just going to continue specking into strength and, you know, the related skills. Probably need to get her some Weapon Master relatively soon. And Behesh is just going to be getting a little bit more in Archery and Iron Flesh. Matt held some more strength, will be fine. She has some pretty good weapon master already, so not really necessity there. And uh, Ferentis, yes, Ferentis is actually really good in my opinion. I'm going to give him some more power strike. I wanted to deal damage. Okay, let's give him that. And he has a pretty decent shield already. He has pretty decent boots. And is there anyone else here that is actually an archer? I think Nazar could actually be an archer, but I'm not entirely sure about that. We have huge amounts of companions now, don't we? Uh-huh. Okay, so Lezalit is obviously the trainer person. And Nizar is... 
not using a bow, but we could technically make him use a bow if we so desired. Shall we, shall we just give him this? Well, obviously we can't right now, but I'm going to give him this shield. And I, I think his scimitar is absolutely fine. I mean, look at the speed rating on it. The speed rating is actually quite nice. Anyway, we're going to leave him with that. And I just need to make sure that all of our people that are currently on horses are tagged as cavalry. There we go. Yes, that sounds good to me. All right. So, otherwise, we're just going to level up that. And Barney has leveled up too. So we have 7,700. We should be really, really close to getting that next Weavery and Dye Works, which is very important, of course. And now I'm unsure what to spec into. Yes. Because, okay, what do we have? We have a person that does tactics, a person that does pathfinding, tracking, and spotting. So we don't need those. We have a person that does engineering, first aid, surgery, wound treatment, so we don't need those. What else do we need? That's it. We don't really need anything else, so I guess the only other thing that I can really spec into is shield, weapon master, riding, iron flesh, any of these that are going to give me a personal benefit. I'm thinking persuasion actually is going to be something really good. Maybe. Because that's going to mean that we'll be able to persuade our companions not to leave as far as I'm aware. Because I seem to remember us having a pretty decent persuasion skill, maybe four or five or something. And then being able to persuade our companions to stay, even though they hated the people currently with them. But obviously I do have to participate in that dialogue all the time, which is quite annoying. But, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we should just go for trainer skill because we are going to be quite high level soon enough. Well, not soon enough, but we're, we're you know, we're getting there. We're getting there. So let's take the daughter to Cherise. I'm not entirely sure how much money we're going to get for this, but hopefully it's going to be a pretty sizable amount. Oh, wow. Matild is having a, a really big issue with Jeremus. Well, Jeremus is a capable member of this company. I'm, yeah. Oh, that's not very good, is it? No, not at all. All right, so there you have it, 250 dinars and a little bit of relation with Lady Shatha. Obviously, she's not actually someone that we are wanting to court at the moment, so it's not really necessary, you know, a necessity to, for us to actually do anything. Anyway, the treatise of things, the treatise of things, a treatise on the value of things. I believe that is trade skill. I believe that is trade skill. We have zero in trade, and I, I'm doubting that we're actually going to be doing anything else so I suppose I should just read it right yeah I guess I should just read it because there's really no necessary you know it's not ah oh, what, what is with me a necessary and necessity today I have no idea but yeah it's not really a necessity for us to keep that around there's a caravan guard merchant okay nothing else here all right so I think what we're going to do is we're going to take a look no one is at war against us well that is actually pretty sad isn't it? That is actually pretty sad. Well, let's go into the arena then, see if there's any tournaments going on, because we do need the money. Oh, okay, fine. I'm going to just join the melee fight then, I guess, because there aren't any tournaments around, and it might be quite nice to see how we do, because it's been a while since I've actually done this to a good degree. You know, usually I'm just going to head in here just to you know, do whatever, because I just want to get it over with, I just want to be able to ask the guy where tournaments are going to be held, so, let's just see if I'm actually able to do something with it. Or maybe not. Maybe this guy's just going to absolutely slaughter everyone with his two-handed sword. I actually much prefer to have a two-handed sword or something in this particular fight. But, yeah. Well, we're just going to try our best then, aren't we? Yeah, obviously these are just regular fighters right now. Oh, no! That guy's got a bow! That is not very nice. Yes! There we go! We got him! Very nice. Okay, as long as you can avoid the bow shots... His dagger skills are not very good, so... On... Aw... Oh, really? Alright, so as you can see, I'm using a different weapon here, because I got killed due to me sneezing before. And I might actually include that in the video, I'm not entirely sure, but it, it really depends on if it's way too loud, because obviously sneezing, you know, is, is pretty loud, so... Anyway, we're gonna try and do a little bit better this time around. Hopefully I won't sneeze this time either, so obviously it's gonna make a bit of a difference in how good we are, because obviously I had to take my hands off the keyboard, and yeah, that was that was fantastic. So, let's see if we can... Okay, I'm gonna set a goal. My goal is 15 kills. I highly doubt I'm gonna be able to make it there, because one more hit will probably kill me. And I'm pretty sure that we're gonna... Really? Are you sir? 
Seriously, okay, a regular fighter is not going to be able to block that much. I, are you serious? Okay, well, never mind. I'm, I'm done with, I'm done with that. I am literally done with that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off screen a little bit. I'm going to try and, well, not do any tournaments, that's for sure, because there aren't any at the moment. But I'm going to try and probably do a little bit of desert bandit fighting. Maybe that's going to be a good amount of money. And I'm going to try and get some more tasks from vassals and guild masters and things like that. And if there's anything in particular that is quite interesting, you know, for example, taking the daughter or, you know, saving the kidnapped girl or something along those lines, then of course I will show that in the next episode. But as it stands, we need to do a little bit of off screen because there doesn't seem to be anything else that I can do right now that is new ish. And I know that I said that I wanted to have kind of like an uncut series, but. I don't think you want to see me fighting, I don't know, 50 groups of bandits, do you? Yeah, probably not. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.